today we will be winterizing a 2024 Airstream Bambi 19CB. Keep in mind every RV system is set up just a little bit differently so if you're unsure about your configuration please refer to the manufacturer or make an appointment with our service department today. So first off, when tackling winterization, there's multiple ways to go about this. There are folks out there that'll open their low points first, and there are folks that'll use only compressed air hooked up to their city water outlet to blow compressed air through their lines. These are all wonderful options for people. What we prefer to do at Colonial Airstream is we want to use some RV um, specific antifreeze and we're going to pump this through our lines utilizing our pump and we're going to get this in our drains as well to just cover all our bases here. So our first step in our unit is going to be locating the pump and that's what we're going to use to deliver antifreeze through the system. On a 19CB like we have here, the pump is actually easily accessible behind this drawer. Once that drawer is out of your way, you'll actually easily be able to find a clear line possibly still brandishing its normal use slash winterization positions on the T-valve that this clear line is connected to that you can see right here in my hands. I'm actually going to take that T-valve and point it towards my clear line and now I'm no longer pulling from my fresh tank which should already be open for the winter and draining and I'm going to take the attractive cap off the end of my clear line and I'm going to stick this line right into my antifreeze bottle and this will start our process of delivering the antifreeze through the unit. Now I've just got to locate my pump switch. So our pump switch is actually right above the kitchenette here and once I pull on our pump switch that's going to pull our antifreeze right into whatever outlet I have on. Now that we're pulling antifreeze and our pump is primed we can go ahead and open the cold side of our sink. See the antifreeze run out. Now we're going to go ahead and run our hot side and let the water run out of our hot lines until we see pink from our antifreeze like so. I'm going to let that run for a few minutes and then I can shut this sink off and come back to it in my process. Now that we've taken care of our kitchen sink, we're just going to move right along and we're going to do our bath sink here. Some folks will talk about doing the shower as it's the highest point in the coach, but as long as we're doing everything inside at once and then moving out, we're covering all our bases. So cold side first, getting that antifreeze out. Now I'm going to switch to the hot. And I'm confident I've gotten my antifreeze through both sides of that line. So finally we are in the rear bath of the 19CB. I am sitting in the shower cabinet. And if we go ahead and we grab our shower here, we actually have a mixing valve on the shower that's gonna run both hot and cold through our shower head. So I'm gonna turn this guy all the way on and it's gonna spray antifreeze through both the hot and cold supply lines to my shower head here. So I just wanna let that antifreeze run for a little while. I wanna make sure that no clear water is coming out and before I leave the bath cabinet, I still have my commode right here. I just want to do a nice step flush and hold for a minute because that is going to run antifreeze through the back sprayer of my commode. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and step on my step valve. I'm going to hold to fill. And make sure that antifreeze is coming from all that sprayer and then go ahead and flush to my black tank. So that concludes the inside, let's go on outside. So now we find ourselves on the outside of the 19CB. We actually still have a few things to worry about like our outdoor shower right here. This has split hot and cold controls. So we're gonna go ahead and run our cold first. Let's sure all that antifreeze comes out. And then I'm actually gonna shut my cold off and swap to my hot side. And I wanna run it making sure that if there is any clear, that it comes out before that's chased behind with the antifreeze. Then I can go ahead and shut this guy off and stow it, but there are a couple more things on the outside of the trailer to pay some attention to. Another thing on the exterior of our coach is our Girard On Demand water heater. One of the things I like to do just to be safe 
um, is open the pressure release valve on my Gerard here. So we've got this little tab and my pressure release tab right here. I just want to open this up and get a little antifreeze to come out. That way I know that I've got antifreeze all through the induction piping inside. I don't have to worry about any water being left in there over the winter, expanding and destroying my device. So now that we've run antifreeze through all of our outlets, we're actually gonna shut our pump off and we're gonna go ahead and remove the antifreeze from our pump entirely. I'm gonna go ahead and just cap this line with some antifreeze left in it. So I remember that this pink line is what I think it is come next winter. And I'm gonna put the T-valve back in the fresh position. As a reminder, the fresh tank has already been drained before winterization. You wanna open that little valve on your fresh tank and drain all the water out. But with this off, I can go ahead and replace place our drawer face here and I'm going to take that remaining antifreeze and I'm going to utilize that at all my drain outlets. So we're going to go ahead and pour some right here in the sink. Just a nice liberal amount and I'm going to do the same thing behind me at the bath sink. As well as my shower drain. So doing this just ensures that all the traps in my drain system have a good amount of antifreeze in them and will protect throughout the winter. There is, however, even with the pump off, one last thing for me to open, and that's underneath the bed here. Now that everything's been covered, there's actually two low point drains, the cold low point and the hot low point drain that I also want to open up. They're underneath the bed in this unit, so I'm gonna lift up the bed and I actually have an access panel right here. So moving the panel out of the way, we've got two termination valves, just like we had with the winterization. And I'm just gonna briefly open up the cold, see the antifreeze leaving that cold line, and open up the hot, seeing it do the same outside. With these guys also winterized, we've now done every single part of the coach. And this unit is ready for storage and ready for a cold, harsh winter. Follow these steps and you'll have nothing to worry about over the coming winter months. If you do not wish to winterize your own RV or you worry about messing up something in the process, then please do not hesitate to call our service department to set up your winterization appointment today. Before we end this video, we would really appreciate everyone hitting that like button and subscribing if they haven't already. If you found this video helpful or you have any questions at all, please leave us a comment below or reach out to us at colonialairstream.com. Our phone number is 800-265-9019. My name is Joe Welches, and I can't wait to see you all again in the next Colonial Service Tech Tip video.